Yeah. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Thanks for joining us today. My name is Casey and I would love for you to take one second and go down below and subscribe and click that little bell button so you'll never miss when I post a new video. So today we're talking about a topic that I rarely ever see on YouTube and it's actually something that I just discovered recently that I think is very important for um, you guys to know and for you guys to kind of try out and see how it works for you. So we're going to be talking all about scalp exfoliation and how to do it, how it works, and how it benefits your hair and your scalp. You're probably thinking scalp exfoliation, like what? Now exfoliating like on your body or on your skin is basically the process of removing dead skin cells or um, helping to clear the top layer of your skin. It helps to kind of reveal a nice clean glowing um, complexion but the same way that you exfoliate your body you can also exfoliate your scalp and it basically kind of does the same thing when you exfoliate your skin you're kind of helping your skin to produce new skin cells faster which is why after you exfoliate the skin looks so smooth and so nice so same thing when you exfoliate your scalp you're kind of helping to remove that dead layer of skin to help reveal a nice healthy scalp so there actually aren't many products on the market that are basically directed to scalp exfoliation. And exfoliating can be chemical and it can also be physical. So um, chemical exfoliators, they don't have those little grimy things in them. Like it's kind of an exfoliator that works with the ingredients within the product, but it's you won't feel it. However, there are physical um, exfoliators that you can actually feel that have those little um, salt pieces or sugar pieces or whatever is in there that physically helps to remove dead skin. I actually prefer to do physical exfoliation both on my skin and on my scalp now just because I like the way it feels. So the physical exfoliator that I've been using on my scalp is this apple cider vinegar scalp scrub with pink Himalayan sea salt. It's by DP Hue. You guys probably saw me post this a few weeks ago on my social media. Um, I wanted to use it a few times before I gave a review and before I told you guys my thoughts on scalp exfoliation and all that in general. So I have been using it and I do really, really like it. On the front it says it helps to naturally exfoliate and cleanse the scalp. It's made with color locking technology, color treated hair, and it's infused with avocado oil and aloe vera to help make sure that your scalp and your hair don't get dried out because obviously anything with salt in it can dry anything out. So on the back it says um, it exfoliates the scalp, removing dead skin cells and product buildup while rebalancing pH for the ultimate clean scalp. It's infused with avocado oil and aloe vera to soothe and calm and enhance with color locking technology to protect color treated hair. So this actually recommends that you use their apple cider vinegar rinse that is sold separately but I didn't have it and it actually cost like 30 or 35 dollars so I wasn't about to buy it. But I do have this cream of nature argan oil apple cider vinegar rinse that I really really like and actually works very well with this. So I actually like to kind of do this almost like a shampoo replacement. So whenever I do this combination, I will not shampoo. I kind of use this as my shampoo, but um, I kind of only find myself doing it like once every two weeks if not like once a month. I won't do it every time I wash my hair. And I also like to do it on dry hair before I even start my washing process. So basically on dry hair, what I'll do is I will apply the apple cider vinegar rinse first. And I'll apply it directly to my scalp. It has a little pump so it makes it super easy to um, part your hair and apply it directly to your scalp. And this just kind of helps to add a little bit of movement to my hair because when my hair is dry, it, it doesn't move. <laughs> So this helps to add movement, it helps to start the cleansing process, and it's actually also very moisturizing, so I really like this. So after I have this applied all over my scalp, then I will go in with a little bit of the um, scrub, and again, apply it directly to my scalp. Now that my hair is a little bit wet, um, it helps to part my hair a little bit easier to get it directly onto my scalp. And I find that you don't need much of this at all, literally just a little bit, and directly to your scalp, scrub it in. It feels so good like it feels you would think that it would hurt or that it would be a little too harsh but it feels so soothing um there's no peppermint oil or anything in it but it kind of helps to give you this invigorating feeling i don't know I, I really like it and it's a great thing to do if you feel like you have very dry scalp because this will help to kind of get rid of all that dry crusty dandruff that you have and then after I finish applying the scrub, I just continue to scrub it in and then I rinse it out and I will continue with conditioning and styling and all that. It doesn't smell too good. Um, this apple cider vinegar rinse actually doesn't smell bad. It doesn't have like a 
apple cider vinegar smell this one you can definitely smell the apple cider vinegar in so just be aware of that it does have that smell but it works great and like I said it works great in combination with this so let me tell you guys a little bit about why scalp exfoliation is so good and um, why it will benefit you in your hair routine so first things first it helps to increase circulation in your scalp and this basically helps your hair follicles receive all the nutrients and oxygen it needs to grow obviously it also helps to remove product buildup so if you regularly use a lot of product on your hair that product buildup will be a lot more extensive than someone who doesn't use a lot of product and obviously product buildup can clog your scalp and your pores and sometimes it's not something that you can really see so you may have product build up and not even know and when those follicles are clogged um, it dries out your hair it prevents your hair from growing so exfoliating your scalp will help to remove all that and help your follicles breathe and grow faster obviously it also helps with a deeper cleansing because obviously when you use a regular liquid shampoo you're kind of just cleaning on the surface when you exfoliate you have those little beads in it or you have the natural uh, chemical exfoliator it helps to get deeper into your scalp and it's a lot more effective than a regular shampoo surprisingly enough you can get acne on your scalp as well if you do get relaxers or any type of color treatment um, and your scalp is sensitive you can get those little weird bumps on your scalp and exfoliating can help reduce that and also prevent them from happening in the future scalp exfoliating also helps to make other products work a lot better because when you are exfoliating and you're removing that dead skin on your scalp it helps to make those follicles open up and other products will penetrate a lot better so if you use like oils on your scalp or even just when you cleanse your scalp on a regular basis um, when you exfoliate and you allow those dead skin cells to leave then your scalp is like a nice fresh canvas and it can absorb products a lot better so if you haven't tried scalp exfoliating I definitely recommend it you don't necessarily have to use a product like this this one I'm always dropping products in my videos you don't necessarily have to use a product like this one it can be a little bit pricey I think I paid 30 for this if I'm not mistaken you can also actually make your own DIY scalp exfoliator you can use regular sugar you can use regular salt mix in some oils and then apply it to your scalp if you've been following me for a little while then you know I actually did for a small amount of time do a DIY scalp exfoliator I don't know why I stopped I just kind of wanted to look for something that I could purchase in the store I don't even remember what ingredients I used to use in that scalp scrub I did before but if you guys want I can try to replicate that into a video it may be a lot cheaper than buying something like this but overall um, scalp exfoliating can definitely benefit your hair routine it may seem like an extra step but you know we want our hair to be healthy we want it to grow and and flourish so sometimes we have to take those extra steps to make that happen so thank you guys so much for watching this video hopefully it was helpful hopefully you learned something new if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up those really really help me out don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already subscribe to my second vlog channel if you have not already follow me on social media to keep up with me even when I'm not on YouTube and hopefully I will see you guys all in my next video bye